Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without You, Episode 5. Hey, you. Are you alive? He is alive. This cockroach isn't easy to squash. Are you okay? I don't know. Don't cry. You're okay. He was trying to... No, no, I know what he was trying to. It's okay. It's okay. You are okay. I've never been so scared before. Never. I know, I hate bastards like him. Thank you for helping me out. You didn't have to. Who do you think I am? A monster? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... Enough, that's enough. Don't cry. I'm sorry. It's just... I was so scared. Right. Until you say it's right. All men are pigs. No, not all of them. My father, for one. He is nice. Roman, too. He is also a very good man. Okay, who is Roman? My uncle. Oh, rather, my friend. I don't know how to describe him. He's... He's my mom's little brother. Not much older than me. We grew up together. It must be nice to have such a big family. I envy you. You... do you have a family? No, but I used to. It was a great family, mom, dad, and my baby sister, Foxy. Her name was actually Alisa. She would be your age now. Alisa. It's a beautiful name. Yes, my mom loved Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> what happened to your family? I'm sorry. It's too personal. You don't have to answer. No, no, it's okay. They were killed. Killed? By whom? Why? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Find their killer and take revenge. I'll make them regret what they've done. Find their weak spot and strike. Hard. I know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Six years ago, the ghost killed my boyfriend, Danilo. The police ruled it as suicide. Of course. No one wants to do extra work. There was no investigation to speak of. They didn't want an unsolved case on their hands. Don't tell anyone, okay? Nobody at work knows. Of course, sure. Mom is the word. How much father? We are almost there. Sashko! Sashko, open the gate. It's the family. Open it. Oh, wow. I knew you were a rich girl, but not that you are that rich. Thank you again for the ride and for helping me out. Thank you. It's okay, anytime. My dad came out to meet me. Let's go, I'll introduce you. No, it's awkward. Come on, come on. Baby, baby. How many times did I tell you? Don't ignore your dad's calls. Your mother and I were worried sick. Should we have called the police? Dad, what police? I'm the police. I want you to meet Clara, my colleague and friend. She helped me a lot today. Were you crying? What happened? An escaped criminal attacked me and Clara happened to be around and knocked him out. Hit him on the head with a chair. He'll probably still lie in there unconscious. Zubov? Oleksa Zubov, I owe you. Don't mention it. Well, my daughter's friends are my friends. Let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, you don't have to. No, 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 the discussion is over. Let's go. Sashko, close the gate. Come on. If you insist. Yes, I insist. Yes. Such a beautiful place you have here. Here? Amazing. It's almost too beautiful to touch. I swear on my life. Please eat. Tea or coffee? Tea, if you please. Yes, it's like a restaurant. With this job, I mostly eat takeout. Fast food is bad for you, but sometimes tastes great. Not with your ulcer, darling. As if the answer isn't enough, this job ruins your stomachs too. I keep asking my daughter to quit, but... Mom, don't start it. No, you should listen to your mom. If I had all this money, I wouldn't work even a day. See? Listen to your friend. She ignores our advice. She shouldn't. On the other hand, work turned a human into an ape. I mean the other way round. Ape into human. Olesya is respected at work. You should be proud of her. Most of the golden boys and girls. Thank you. What do they do? They do clubbing, take drugs, waste their lives. Alessia is a serious, responsible person. It's inviolable. Alessia? And your caring parents. I wish I had parents like them. What's there to envy? She is exposed to danger every day. You said a convict attacked her today. Mom, I'm okay, aren't I? Because your friend happened to be there. Clara? From now on, I'm in your debt. If you ever need something, just let me know. I mean it. Thank you. I'll have it in mind. Oh, it's so late. I have to be at work early tomorrow. I should go. I'll find my way out. It was so nice to meet you all. I'll walk you to the car. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've been saying it for a while. She needs to quit. And get married, yes. And start a family and give us grandchildren. It'd be better for her and for us. Alexa, I'm not saying you're wrong. Don't preach to me. Preach to your daughter. You're so lucky, Alexia. Your parents... I would give up a lot to be in your place. Yes, I'm lucky this way. Here is what I don't understand. If your folks are loaded... Yes. Why don't they hire a PI? Why are we looking for the ghost yourself? They did, with zero result. It's always the same. Dad hires a PI, pays them a fortune, and nothing comes out of it. And I can't live without knowing, you see? I want to know who killed my boyfriend and why. And I want them to go to jail. Yes, I know how you feel. So, thank you for helping the investigation. I'm sorry for being so uppity at first. I've never seen an honest criminal before. Believe me, I haven't met one yet either. <laughs> yes, I mean, I understand why you can't trust people. Things I saw as a kid. What do you mean? What do I mean? My aunt ran a brothel. Married men always came to have fun with her girls. Then they'd go back to pretending to be family men y'all to their wives and they were good at it. What? Sorry if I'm crossing the line, but your aunt was running a brothel? Yes. Did you... No, no, I wasn't involved. My godfather would kill my aunt if she tries to pin me out. Still, she dreams that I'll marry a rich man who will support her too. I know what you mean. My family wants me to get married too. And quit your job. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe it's not that bad. Family is important. Family is good, it's better than being alone. Okay, I'm out of here. Right, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Sashko, let her out. Open the gate. <sighs> Clara.
close it. Is she gone? Yes. I'll be right with you. Good night, baby. Good night, Mom. You know, Dad, I've never thought about how it feels to be alone in this world. It must be scary. I'm so lucky to have you and Mom. Has Clara prompted these thoughts? I like this girl. She's a good influence. You should bring her more often. I will. Well, good night. Good night, Daddy. Dmitro, are you okay? How is your hotel? Clara, great. The hotel is awesome. Great security, too. Dmitro, good night. Clara, sweet dreams. Can't sleep? Try counting sheep? I tried. It didn't work. You're thinking about the ghost? No, about Clara. I can feel she's in serious trouble, and there's nothing I can do for her. She's as stubborn as her father was. I told her to skip town. Maybe she has? No. I talked to Ella, her neighbor. She stayed with the cops. It's not that bad. They'll protect her, at least. From the ghost? Don't be ridiculous. They can't even figure out who he is. It's weird that we haven't heard about him here, either. He probably hasn't done time. Must be one of the young ones. Might be. It doesn't solve my goddaughter's problem, either. I need to send her away. You said she had never been scared. So scare her? As a preventive measure. Mikhailich, you're talking business. Sure. <laughs> What shall we do with you? Shall I release you? Untie you? No. Where is the fun in that? It's also dangerous for me. I have a better idea. <laughs> shall we play? Good morning. Mm -hmm. Right. You should get up earlier. The food got cold. Are you all right? You seem tense. Am I? Do I have a reason to be tense? I don't think so, unless it's your work. No, things are great at work. They are doing perfect without me. Is that what worries you so much? 
Nadia, you said you were going to get back to rehearsals as soon as the baby is born. You said a lot of things to me too. Did I do something wrong? No. Just leave me alone. Prosecutor's office. Clara, 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 wake up, wake up. Good morning. Is it good? It will be if Dmitro doesn't see this. I'll help you clear the bed in. Come on, come on. Holy moly. Come on. Listen, it's just a temporary arrangement until we catch the ghost. I'm afraid to stay the night at the apartment haunted by a ghost. A hotel would be even scarier. People come and go. So I decided to stay here a while. This is the safest place I know. I can't argue with that. The cabinet. Thank you for your help. Thank you for being there for me yesterday. By the way, where is Kortashov? Did you let him go yesterday? Almost. Here. Thanks, Dad. I owe you. Don't mention. The pay won't be great at first, but there's a good chance of promotion if you prove yourself. Clara is smart. She can handle it. Are you sure there's nothing between you two? Yes. She's my consultant. I owe her, that's all. She saved my life yesterday, so I wanted to repay her. Saved your life? You didn't tell me. Dad, it was nothing. I should pay more attention, that's all. A biker tried to stab me, driving by, but Clara noticed and shoved me aside. Did they find the biker? Not yet. Do you think it was the ghost? I really hope so. He hopes so. You almost got stabbed. He hopes so. Dad, I'm fine. Relax. If the ghost is nervous enough to get out of his hiding, it means we are close. Finally, some breakthrough. Listen, son, I understand. Our line of work is dangerous, but you only have one life. No ghost is worth of giving up your life. It's okay, Dad. I'm alive. Everything is under control. Under control? A criminal saving your life? Technically, she isn't a criminal. She has no record. And she won't if she uses this chance. You never took so much trouble for any criminal before. Not for a criminal. For a person. Never mind it. Bye, Dad. Tell Mom I said hi. Okay. I'm a rapist and an asshole. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hello. What's going on there? I don't know. I've just came. <laughs> what does this mean? Is anyone going to explain? We should have untied him. We shouldn't have. He'd had attacked us again. How did he end up here like this? We don't know. We found him like this. So untie him. Yes, sir. Arrest these bitches. They attacked me. What? Watch your tongue. Who attacked whom? Guys, no need to untie him. Get him to the cell as is. Or to the Contemporary Art Museum. He'll fit right in. Are you out of control? He started it. To my office, now. What are you waiting for? Go to work, to your offices. Now he'll fire me for sure. Don't worry. With a debt like yours, he'll be the one to get fired. What happened? Nothing serious. Can you believe it? It's the first time the boss called me in. I never had a boss before. I'm afraid it won't last long. Don't jinx it. These crazy women attacked me, lured me into the archive room and... Attempt to rape him. Exactly. No one asked you. You should have. This asshole almost raped Lacey at the archive last night. I had to knock him out with a chair. Igor Valentinovich, it's true. You know, Kartesho was harassing me. I recently complained to you, but you wouldn't listen. I'm not listening to this now either. I don't need a scandal here. Or an internal investigation. You think I don't have enough on my plate? Igor Valentinovich, she was chasing me, and I said no because I'm married. This is her revenge. What? This is outrageous. You asshole. Sir, 
Whom are you going to believe? This swindler? A criminal? She should be in jail, not working in this department. Don't. He isn't worth it. See this level of aggression? She attacks people. She needs to be isolated. Okay. Shut up, all of you. I don't want to hear these tales about harassment anymore. From any of you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Off you go. Yes, sir. What do you mean, off you go? I'm telling you, Karatashol tried to rape me, and you're just letting him go? Okay. Olesya, are you questioning your supervisor's decision? Do you realize the consequences? I'll help you. You will be fired. Hey, man, you're unfit for this job. What? You heard me. How can you work in law enforcement when you're covering up a crime? You are as bad as he is. You both should be in jail and not me. How dare you talk to me like this? I'm telling the truth, that's all. You should be kicked out of the police. You're worse than the criminals, you have the badge. Well, you have crossed all the lines. I will... What? What? Fire me? You can't. I don't work for you. And if you decide to arrest me, have it in mind that there will be a huge press scandal. I'm good at giving interviews. You will never lie down the things I'll tell the reporters. That's all. Bye. Adios, amigos. Hugs and kisses. Igor Valentinovich, are you going to let it go? No, he isn't. I'm filing a complaint against Kurtashov. File your resignation too while you're at it. I don't need troublemakers here. Clara, wait. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Unfortunately, I can't even help you. He fired me too. How can he fire you? Your father is a big man. One call and someone will lose their badge. I'm sure he has tons of friends in high places. Yes, but I can't ask him for help. Why? Because I said I wouldn't accept Dad's help with my career. He was against me working here from the beginning. Later, he supported me, of course, and even offered his help. But I said I'd manage it. I want to be appreciated for my talents, not for his influence. I don't understand. If I had a dad like yours... Okay, it's your decision. I respect it. Okay, goodbye, Huck. You know why I will miss you a little. Clara, I wish you a good luck. Thank you. I might need it. Clara? Give me my phone back. Hello, Mr. Zubov. I'm sorry to bother you. It's Clara, your daughter's friends. Your Alessia is in a big trouble at work, and she is too scared to tell you. Her colleague attacked her last night and tried to... You know... Our boss wants to sweep it under the rug to avoid scandal and to let the rapist to go unpunished. He threatens to fire Lessa if she reports that bastard. We can't have it, can we? I think so, too. Yes, thank you, too. Goodbye. Bastard. What happened? Is Alessia okay? No, she's not. What the hell? I said I wouldn't accept Dad's help. You do you and I do me. I'm not his daughter. I can complain to him. Alessia, listen. That's what dads are for. Protecting their daughters from bastards like those two. You will thank me later. Relax, your father is tough. He'll take care of them in a minute. I have no doubts he will. You don't understand. My dad is so tough that he will only make it worse. And if Roman finds out... Who is Roman? Your uncle come friend? Alessia. I'm so jealous of you. You have such a cool family. So many men prepared to help you. I wish I had a family like this. I don't think you'll want to have a family like mine when shit hits the fan. Our daughter lied to us. It was not a convict who attacked her, but a colleague. And her boss is trying to shut her up and sweep it under the rug. He hasn't even arrested the bastard. Thank God, Clara called and warned me. Why? Why didn't she tell me? I'm her father after all. Okay, I'll take care of this business. Find the governor's contacts for me. Roman.
Roma, where are you going? Roman, don't do anything stupid. It won't end up well. Hello? Sashko? It's Zubov. Sorry to disturb you. It's a personal issue. Opera and ballet theater. You sent me the wrong fabric. I didn't need synthetics. I ordered cotton. Do you think 19th century peasants wore synthetic clothes? It's not art house. It's a classic rendition. So please. I know it costs more. But we're within the budget. I'll call you back. Well, Nadia, congratulations are in order. Shall we celebrate? Thanks to Eduard Karlovich's note, I will take the maternity leave one month earlier. Great. I can start on my routine that will help me get back in shape sooner. Isn't it bad for the baby? No, it's all under control. Let's go. It's good that you won't meet with that Frenchman at the theater. Lada, what is this? I thought you knew. Knew about what? The coming years tour. Hi. Has no one told you? Small wonder. You're not coming with us anyway. Is this some kind of a joke? We didn't have any U.S. tours scheduled for this year. What do you mean? It had been discussed a year ago. It didn't work then, but it's okay. We can do it now. They've had a few cities too. We'll spend at least three weeks in L.A., when Washington, New York, and even Las Vegas. God, I'm so happy. My dreams come true. Oops. Was it your dream too? I'm sorry if I have upset you, Nadia. Darling, I'm so grateful to you. You picked the right time to get pregnant. Don't be sad, okay? Everything will be all right. You will have the baby. And I will have your dream. The poster looks nice, doesn't it? Well, good luck. That's bitch. Nadia. Nadia, wait for me. Nadia. Nadia. My dear, please wait. There will be other tours. You'll see the entire world. Don't mind that bitch. Don't mind her. You say it as we went on a U.S. tour every year. It will be the first time in ten years. It was my dream, and she stole it because of this goddamned bump. Nadia, how can you say that? It's not just a bump, it's your baby. Listen, Lada. I don't feel well. Next time, okay? Okay, but our lunch? Next time. Okay, go get some rest. Take care. Bye. Shit. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I hate you. I don't want you, I don't want you. Why did I keep you? Idiot, idiot, idiot. Idiot. So you're leaving after all? I don't have a choice. I'm not going to apologize to this asshole. Why is your overnight back here and the pillow? It's my favorite pillow. A talisman, you might say. I didn't want to leave it in the car. Who knows that the ghost might do. Soak my stuff with poison or something. I don't want that. I didn't know you were so imaginative. There are lots of things you don't know about me. Well, my cooperation with the investigation department seems to be over. I was fired before being officially hired. Perhaps official job isn't for me. That's debatable. Here. What is this? Your new official job. You mean it? I know this fancy security agency. They specialize in private museums. What do I have to do with it? They need a breakings specialist who can think like a criminal to calculate all possible ways to get in. My dad got them interested in you. They won't pay you much at first, but the prospects are good. Dmitro, thank you so much. Nobody ever did so much for me. 
I mean, no stranger ever did. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Well, goodbye, I guess. I'll walk with you. Well, who's asking me? Oh, the golden boy. What did you want? If you ever come close to Olesa again, I will kill you. Got it? Hands off! Hey, what are you doing? Stop! Hands off him! Are you crazy, guys? That's a real man. I want you to arrest him. He attacked me. Yes, this guy started it. Kartashov, are you kidding me? You have just been in my office. What is it this time? That golden boy attacked me first, see? He has injured my nose. The guard will corroborate it. I should have hit him hard. I don't know why they allow people like Kartashov join the law enforcement. Come on, relax. Something is telling me he will lead the investigative department today. Why is that? I don't know. I have a good feeling. I'm not firing you only because... Igor Valentinovich, excuse me, the governor is on the line. Put him through. Alexander Petrovich, hello. I'm honored. I don't quite understand. Whose daughter? It must be a mistake. Olesya Zubova. The Zubov. I understand. Of course, I will do whatever you say. Thank you for calling. You're fired. What for? Why? I'm the victim. Will you leave willingly, or do you want me to fire you officially? I will not let it go. You will pay for it, especially you. Hey, you better watch it. I'm sorry. Tell your assistant that no one is getting fired. Off you go. I mean you too. Get back to work. Yes, sir. Shall I go to the HR to sign my contract? Did the governor mention me? Go to the HR. You're on probation, though. I always hated the word probation. See, Dmitro, you can get justice if you know the right people. Listen, can you hold my back to the office? I'll go see Aunt Lusa. I'll be back in a couple hours. I can hold it and give you a right. I need to question Maria. The masseuse. Right. Great. I can save on gas. Since when have I become your page boy? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. See you. Goodbye. Bye. What were you thinking? Picking up a fight at my office. You don't work here anymore. You know what? It's my life. You won't tell me what to do and where to work. Got it? No, you don't get it. You don't work here anymore. You're so arrogant. You're not in the position to boss me around. You're under arrest. Not for long. Roman. Can you be serious for a moment? Kurtashov might have filed a complaint against you. Witnesses will confirm that you attacked an officer on duty. I'll deal with that officer later. Roman Zakharovich, hello. We sincerely apologize for this misunderstanding. You're free to go. Thank you. What's going on? Miss Zubova? 
I apologize to you too. We will press charges against Kartashov today. He has been fired. Again, I'm sorry for this incident. Give my best to your father. I will. Great. Now everyone knows who my father is. Thanks a lot. How will I work here now? You won't? As I said, you don't work here anymore. Yes, I do. Stay out of my life. What are you up to now? Georgi. I'm sorry I can't go with you today. So much is going on in the family. Don't worry. I understand. It's just that so much is happening right now. My daughter has health problems. Olesa is in trouble at work. Not to mention Roman. I'm afraid he'll do something stupid. What's wrong with Roman? Roma. He is so impulsive. You never know what to expect from him. He left this morning on a family business, and I haven't heard from him since. Not a single call or anything. I'm afraid he'll do something stupid. When he quit his CEO job, Everybody was shocked. People still can't believe he did it on his own will. Roman. I'm sorry, Evgenia, but it was very selfish of him. He left and made you carry this enormous burden on your delicate shoulders. <laughs> I like managing the corporation. I don't know. It's not right. You should take a better care of yourself. In our family, it's impossible. Every day brings new problems. Listen, Yevgenia. I've been thinking about us, our future. I know how different our status is, our financial situation. But I love you so much. I want to be with you, take care of you, protect you. What are you getting at, Georgi? Yevgenia, I love you. Even if I can't bring the world to your feet, I can give you my heart, my love. Finally, my life. And my protection. I am ready to undertake any burden you need me to relieve you of. Georgi. Marry me. Svetlana, don't you have anything better to do? Join some club, go to a spa. What club? Your son's family is breaking apart, and you sit here all calm and do nothing. I talked to our son. He's doing fine. Nothing is breaking up. Why do you say that? Mother's heart knows. Besides, look at this. Nadia never ignored my calls before. She always called me back, and now? You're a detective. Tell me how to explain this. Listen. Has it ever occurred to you that... Nadia can simply be busy at her doctor or somewhere else where she can't take your calls. I'm absolutely certain that this Clara will ruin Dmitro's family. You should see her. She is so arrogant. She behaved as if it were her office and not Dmitro's. Did you go to Dmitro's work? Svetlana, what were you thinking? Our grandson's future, yes. Anatoly, please talk to Dmitro, please tell him not to work with this impudent girl. Svetlana, I don't have time for your senseless chit-chat. I need to work. 
You never have time for me. If someone else were in my place, you wouldn't say that. Who the hell? Svetlana. Go to hell. I... I should be in her place. It's my dream, my dream. To provoke a miscarriage. Answer me. You think you get rid of me? Dream on. I don't care who your daddy is. See you, bitch. Are you threatening me? Any ideas how we can thank her? Maybe offer her money. Too blunt. She might get offended. She did me a huge favor saving Alessia from this goblin. Alla, yes. make me a cup of tea. You know... Try to... find out... if she has a dream that she cannot afford. It would be a beautiful move. You ingrate. I gave all my life to you and you can't even find me money for the surgery. I'll die and it will be all your fault. Aunt Lucia, snap out of it. They offered to operate on you here, free of charge. What the problem? You can't get quality treatment for free. Like everything else in this life, do I have to explain it to you? Okay, whatever. I wanted to talk to you about my parents' death. You must have talked with Godfather about it. Did he mention any names? Stop trying to confuse me and change the subject. I don't know anything about your parents apart from that they died. I never asked any questions, Clara. About the money. Aunt Lucy, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't have this money and I can't get it from anywhere. I can't even take out of loan. I never held a legal job. There is a way, you know? What is it? I was offered a job. A real one. If it goes well, maybe I can get a loan. Clara, do you even hear yourself? What loan? Why get yourself trapped for many years when you can solve the problem in one go? What are you talking about? There is a good gig. The client is pure gold. This hotshot jeweler got a divorce, and his wife got a half of his assets, and every piece of jewelry he had ever bought her, which also costs a lot. You'd need to steal them and give them back to the lawful owner. He's paying a decent sum. Escaped? Yes. This morning, she took her things and bought it. I think yesterday's police woman spooked her. Interrogating her, threatening her. I wasn't there, of course, but Maria told me. The police woman? Thank you for your help. You're welcome. What the hell did you tell her? Dmitro. Give me a sec. 
Okay, get Vasil and go to Maria's place before the ghost gets there. If she's not there, put her on the bulletin. And never question witnesses again without my knowledge, got it? Who was that? My assistant. She's a smart girl, but tends to show excessive initiative. I get that Maria has escaped? Yes, right after the interrogation. Since Alessia has started this mess, let her sort it out too. It'll do her good. How are you? How's your aunt doing? My aunt. She is fine. He is being herself. She suggested that I rob some guy and make quick money. What's the reason of your frankness? They didn't offer you enough? No, they've offered too much. And you know where free cheese can be found. Okay, enough about that. Why don't we go to this Maria? She lives not far from here. I think you'll prefer to go to prison. What do you mean prison? Why prison? I will enter the information. I'm not going to rob anyone. Clara, it's not what I mean. I've got a call from there. I asked them to keep me posted about your godfather. And? He was attacked. He's at the infirmary now. But they made it clear that he's critical. What? How could he have been attacked? It's a prison, there should be guards. No, I don't understand. It's not fair. He's the only person who loves me. I can't lose him. Hi. I was... Listen. I didn't tell them anything. Did you say yes? I'm still thinking. Let him steal. What do you think? If it will make you happy. I need your support so much. I know what your husband will say. He'll say I'm an old fool and... Georgi is a gigala who only wants my money and not me. But what do you say? Mom, I'm so happy for you. It's just... Uh, you... Don't get mad at me, okay? How about putting Georgi's feeling to a test? How? There is a time-honored method. I think it's here. Ring the bell. I'll try to call her. She's inside. Why doesn't she open the door? Open up. We're the police. Lada. You. I'm sick of you. Surprise! I was driving by and decided to visit my favorite daughter-in-law. I picked up the cake on the way. They said it's good. Nadia, are you okay? You look... How do I look? How do I look? Disgusting! How am I supposed to look with this huge belly? Your son wouldn't even look at me and you... Bringing me a cake to make me even huger. I didn't mean. Of course you didn't. I know you all want to get rid of me. But mind you, it won't work. You're a traitor. 
Me a traitor? Nadia, what do you mean? What do I mean? Do you have to ask? Your son is hanging out, God knows where with that whore. He takes her at night and you, what kind of mother-in-law are you? Bringing me cakes instead of helping me. Take your cake and go you know where. I hate you all. Nadia, I said take your cake and go. Don't follow me. I hate you all, hate you. <laughs> What was that? The subscriber isn't available at the moment. Shall I come in with you this time? No, don't. I'm not sure he'll even talk to me after the last time. What made him so angry? You helping us catch the ghost? This and something else. Who has attacked you? I didn't see them. They put a bag on my head from behind. It's all because of you, my dear goddaughter. What do you mean? What do I have to do with it? Everything. When they were beating me, someone whispered in my ear that I'll die if you don't leave the ghost alone. So if you persist and I get killed here, it will be on your head. People are ungrateful. I didn't leave you high and dry. 